everyone, and welcome to Coastal Living. As you know by now, Jocelyn and I are obsessed with Halloween specifically, and to stay in the Halloween spirit as we prepare for the big day, her and I are going to follow a TikTok trend that we found online. Now, I think Kylie Jenner started this one, but it's the thing people have been doing where they reflect on past dance outfits or Halloween costumes and then rate themselves from one to 10. So Jocelyn, I'm gonna let you go first. Give me your top three Halloween costumes that you wanna rate and tell me when you wore it, what was the idea behind it? Did you love it or hate it? And then score yourself one to 10 on each costume. Okay, Clarissa, well, I have to say, I love this game. I was Jasmine one year. I think I was about maybe, I wanna say six or seven years old. And I remember instead of going to go purchase a costume, my mother is so creative and she actually put this together herself, literally from the top to bottom. Um, and I'm gonna probably give that costume, I'm gonna say a nine out of 10, because I had to give props to my mother. I mean, she's so creative still, and I wish I had that ability. And as you all probably know, I'm obsessed with the Joker. So I decided to be the Joker uh, I want to say in 2015. I'm going to give this one maybe a 7 out of 10. It was a very last minute costume. I think what made it great was the makeup because it wasn't too evil or um, ominous looking. And I'm going to give a 10 out of 10 for um, when I was Joker on the set with you, Clarissa, because you did my makeup to perfection. And I don't think I'll ever be able to top that one. So one of my favorites was back in 2012. It was for a show that I was gonna perform at and I decided to be Edward Scissorhands. Um, I think the inspiration came from probably just like surfing the web and seeing how cool this costume could look, but I'm all for a good DIY. So I got my leather sweater, every black belt and chain that I owned. Um, I grabbed some cardboard and cut out some knives and taped them to gloves and then did my hair and makeup as crazy as I could. This one, I'm gonna give it a nine out of 10. It's one of my all time favorite costumes. Okay, second would be, I think this one was about two years ago, Halloween before COVID hit us and I was Wonder Woman. So the fun thing here is now that I've got my husband and my son in my life, they're obsessed with superheroes and I can probably count on being a superhero every Halloween for the rest of my existence. Um, <laughs> this one I give a six out of 10, only cause the effort was really, really there to makeshift it, but I didn't go full on Wonder Woman and I totally could have. And last but not least, I was in love, uh, the same Halloween costume that you did, Jocelyn, you did the Joker and I was Batman. So not only did that get national attention cause we were featured on a, on a show on HBO, but um, that one was really cool. So once again, pulled out the, the shiny leather pants. I went all out with the corset and with the mask and the makeup and everything else. I even did the Batman voice. And for that, yes. I'll give myself a 10 out of 10 because I was in full character and I don't know that I've ever gone full character. So for me, those are mine. And if you think that's pretty cool, you're gonna have to wait and see what wool dress has this year. It's gonna be yeah. amazing and I'm not gonna yeah. give it away. 